Your Humanities Half Hour is brought to you by the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Hafadades and Tiro, welcome to Your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Catherine Perry. Every year, the Northern Marianas Humanities Council hosts the Valentine Singabao Poetry Competition. This competition invites middle school and high school students to recite poems by Singabao for the middle school division or compose and recite their original poems for the high school division based on a theme presented each year by the council. Today we're going to feature some of those recitations. Each year the recitation and poems just get better and better it seems and today we want to share some of those poems with you. Starting off now with middle school students reciting poems by Valentine Sangabao. Buenas noches and hello everyone. My name is Clint Mendiola de Longueru, and I am from Francisco Mendiola Sablon Middle School. The poem I decided to recite tonight is entitled The Plague by Valentine Singabel. This poem reminds me of the recent Typhoon YouTube that devastated our beloved Sina Mai. It was a statement of power from Mother Nature releasing her anger on the human society for what we have done to her precious earth. Valentine's description in this poem are exactly what I experienced during that storm. No matter how much we try to avoid climate change and global warming, we would never be able to avoid natural disasters. The Plague by Valentine Singabao. He sat by the dying fire, warming his wrinkled hands. The storm roared with ire, as if the gods were devastating the lands, telling man who's the master. The mountainous waves pounding the shore with deafening fury, as if to teach man who's mighty. There was no one single star visible in heaven as if they were in hiding. He still sat alone and wondering, this plague of natural disasters. As the torrent rain blushed the heart and shook its foundation, he had no notion when this plague would end or whether he would be alive in the end. But one thing was clear. With all the technology, nature could still instill fear in man with no apology. The new dawn found him by the dying fire. The storm and the rain had died. And the sea was like a mirror. And peace had replaced the night's horror. Once again, nature had rendered its message to man of his arrogancy in voyage through life. The Plague by Valentin Singha. and I'm from Francisco Mendiola Sablon Middle School. And the poem I decided to recite tonight is entitled Searching by Valentine Singabel. The reason why I chose this poem is because I can relate to the author's feeling. I can relate to being lost and searching an intellectual comfort about who I am. As a preteen in middle school, I constantly feel lost and I'm not sure who I am or who I want to be. My life is full of contradictions. Should I follow my peers or should I make my own path? I'm searching for who I am, but when I finally find what I'm looking for, would I be happy? Searching by Valentine Singapore. I left my beloved island, suffocated with emotional turbulence 
and not knowing where to land. But my sight was the horizon, seeking an intellectual solace among strangers in foreign land. For I was mentally deprived in the mute of silence. Among my blood brothers, I felt strange. My life is full of contradiction. I become victim of my education without knowing the burden of this intoxication. I become a person with split personality and my two identities have complexity that cannot find an escape. My heart yearns for my birthright where my umbilical cord is rooted deep in the soil, lulled by its cultural heritage. For simple things were joy and luxuries were necessary and the sounds of nature were music. But I have jumped deep the Perion Spring, and the thirst for knowledge is consuming, demanding for further understanding of man, nature, universe, and cosmos. Knowledge is infinite. And I must continue my search, although it's not within my reach. When I find it, will I be rich? Searching by Valentini Singapore. Good evening. My name is Issa Teguta, and I proudly represent Dandan Middle School. Tonight, I'll be reciting a poem entitled Nyedor by Valentine Romeo Sengba. In many cultures, People constantly seek the guidance from their elders for the wisdom and knowledge. These elders look upon their elders, who look upon their elders, and so forth. Their experiences have shaped the way we approach many different issues today. I chose this piece because we need to bring attention to the importance of our ancestors, <coughs> our elders, who have left this earth long ago. We occasionally seek their wisdom and knowledge and can feel their presence in our day-to-day -day lives. We feel them in our land, our cultural artifacts, but mostly in ourselves. Nyerno by Valenti Lemil Senba. You look very familiar to me, like an old acquaintance. I wonder, where did we first meet? Was it in my dream or was it in yours? Was it during your time or mine? Or whether I met you through the books I read? Strange. You sure look very familiar to me, yet you're so fathomless. You seem to be everything to me. Yet, you're none of the things I know. I could see your face dancing all over the recess of my mind. Perhaps we did meet in some distant age, in some remote time. Then again, perhaps not, but still, you look very familiar to me, and it feels good indeed to know that I feel I know you. And that's very comforting. You know? Nyadaloy by Valentin Nameo Spangba. We'll be back with more from the Valentine Singabao Poetry Competition after this. Did you know that you can donate up to $5,000 to the Humanities Council through the CNMI Education Tax Credit Program? Donations from individuals and corporations qualify and can be used to offset your local wage and salary tax, BGRT, and earnings tax. Call our office at 235-4785 to see how you can support humanities programs in our community and obtain a tax credit for your donation. Sizu Usma Asi, and thank you. 
Welcome back to Your Humanities Half Hour. In this half of the show, we're going to hear original compositions by high school students in the Marianas, presented at the Valentin Singabao Poetry Competition. Soldier Lord. Manhood. You too. Hagavis. Over the years, the identity of our people have become intertwined with the calamities we've experienced. But we are not here to place emphasis on such tragedies. We are here to place emphasis on the strength of our people. This, this is, is an, an original, original poem about who we are by Nehemiah and Delaine Joy Fernandez. I, I am a boy, a girl, tightly grasping my mother's, mother's arms as our home rumbles. As trees tremble and walls crumble, as the pride of our people is suddenly humbled. We are the offspring of a people born in a nation free, yet we are held captive by our calamity. I am a mother, a father, wondering, unsure, in utter confusion. What is the solution? Can there be restitution? Is there a way out of our despair and destitution? We are an island, beautiful in nature, yet it was the very thing that made our torture. But we did not come to speak of a storm. We came to speak of a people. Because there lingered a force greater endowed by our Creator that was and still is stronger than 200 mile per hour winds. We are a people who were hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed, struck down but not destroyed, like a cord of many strands intertwined. Together we rose from the dust because that is who we are a light stone that stands still in the storm. A star that shines bright in dark skies. A mark that is beautifully woven in variety. We are a people strong and true. Because we are the strength of the Marianas. Because the Marianas is not a group of islands. It is a people. And nothing, whether an ocean's current or a rain's torrent, can ever detract who we are. Good evening. I'm Kieran Chassa, and you can't see it from here, but I'm from Tunia Junior Senior High School. <laughs> and my poem is about my identity and just everyone's identity. We are all unique, but we are interconnected with similarities. Sort of how we share the same stars. We have our favorites. You know, mine's the sun. Mine. Okay, so this is an original poem of many. I am one of many. There are over 400 billion solar systems in our Milky Way, and twice as many galaxies in our universe. We aren't alone, I can say. I am an earthling. I am one of many. There are 195 countries in this earth. And I come from a commonwealth of the states. From here, a US citizen, I was birthed. And I am an American. Am I an American? Well, I am one of many. There are 14 islands in this chain. Well, three mostly. Saipan, Tinian, and Rhoda are their names. And I'm from Tinian. I am one of many. On my island of 3,000, the Carolinians and Chamorus are the indigenous. Part Chamoru, part Filipino, and part Nepalese, I am a blend. I am one of many, of many worlds and countries, of many islands and nationalities, of many of the same things. I am me.
my culture. Our culture is dying. This poem is about a problem that has been on everyone's minds, but only very few act upon it. This poem is about who we are as Chamo people and who I am as Chamo. Who are we? A culture built on having respect, especially towards those who came before us. Respect for the land, respect for the sea, respect for hers and history. <laughs> we used to help our neighbors farming, fishing, building family homes. We used to get together, not one of us left alone. We used to do each other favors without thinking about what we owe. Enough of Malik for the greater, where did all of that go? Now, used to is what we're used to. Like in a museum, it's history. If we don't do the things that define us, then who am I to you? Who am I to me? We talk about each other, we barely have respect, we don't talk to one another. What do you expect? Money does all the talking, respect is all likes and shares. We talk to distant followers when family is right there. Our language is barely spoken, our history unknown, our ancestors' hearts are broken. We act like we don't know each other and it shows when we don't arm and nine and time, we've hit an all-time low. Our Chamo culture is dying, and we need to fix this quickly. If we don't do the things that define us, then who are we really? Thank you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Enke Quinn, and I'm making, I made this poem uh, simply because I wanted to give a viewpoint on how, it, how life is in the CMI. More specifically, where I reside, up in the north side of Saipan. I wanted to express how buildings also represent how we are as a people. Every now and then, I bike up to La Fiesta Mall. I stop, stare, and wonder how something that once seemed so grand and magnificent, somehow lost everything that defined what it was. I continue to bike up ahead and slowly arrive in front of Mariana's Resort, a place that I once called home. Today, I don't look at it the same way. Today, the only thing that I see is a ghost town full of empty houses and an entrance that may never say open again. It worries me that we're closing our doors in a slow decline of success because I haven't seen so much disappear in our islands and it shows how much we're struggling. Never in my life have I noticed us as a people fall into the hardships that we face today. And it shows. And it continues to stab me in the gut every time, knowing that we're continuously falling as every moment passes. Because I see my home in this island, and I want us to prosper past this temporary crisis. I can't imagine the idea of my home falling down and never being able to be brought back up. Because that is not who we are. After going through Spanish, German, and Japanese control, and surviving into American freedom, I don't want us to be the ones to ruin our rich history. We have so much to accomplish, so much more to look forward to. That is why I say today, CNMI, we have a problem. Half a day after one. My name is Joanne Rappaburgu, 11th grade, representing Marianas High School. The title of the poem I wrote is called, Hey Crisis. 
Changes cannot be resisted. Winds were still and lawns were green. The flame trees bloom within the season. And the raging sea is constantly in change. Long decades have come and gone, but overwhelming disasters have scarcely gone. For the sun is shining goldenly, heat has come, strong spire. The structures has come taking over the island. <laughs> what more can humans do to truly destroy the beautiful animal? Trees are slowly fading away, and pollution has come taking over its place. Today, we are suffering. All we can render is crying and complain. Working together means nothing if the leaders are doing nothing. Half a day is until all. My name is Roy Kaipa, and I am from Marianas High School. The title of my poem is called Forgotten. We learn the language young, but for some reason, we stop. We think it won't affect our future, so we don't give it a second thought. Then later in our lives, we see young ones speaking the language. We end up feeling jealous, and now we're wishing we had learned it. The generations that came before us would really be disappointed. Our language is very important. This is what they would have wanted. But now, our language is fading. It is barely being spoken. But there is nothing we can do now. Our language is being forgotten. My name is Marca Dolphina B. Tegita, and I'm a student from Maranas High School. My poem today is about our, our language is at its end. During those times where our culture was still alive, we would find our elders out and about telling their tales about their times, being young as we are now. And we would also find them singing loud and proud in the language we speak. But as time went by, our elders soon followed. One by one, our culture slowly faded. As each and every one left, technology became well known on our island. Our generation is losing our value, its value and what our elders taught us to be. And now our language is dying off, and all we can soon speak is English itself. Because <coughs> as we all know, our, our language can be any help, bringing tourists from across the world. And with this being said, our pride in our language, if we no longer rely on it because we only desire to learn other foreign languages, such as Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and many more. Let's, let's end this poem now, because regardless of how many times we decide to shout the issues we see, it will reach our governor's heart, the governor we all thought would bring positivity to our, our island. So without furthermore, let's leave this unsaid and undo. Just like all the issues, especially the question and answer, the missing funds that left our island in disaster. We've been listening to excerpts from the Valentin Singabao Poetry Competition, and we'd like to congratulate the Fernandez siblings of Elaine and Nehemiah of Saipan Southern High School for their original composition and winning first place in the high school division. And also congratulations to Clint De Leon Guerrero of Francisco M. Sablon Middle School for topping the middle school division. We look forward to more great presentations in this year's competition. Well, we'd love to hear your thoughts on today's show. You can contact us on Facebook at 670 Humanities. Or if you'd like to hear more of the show, subscribe to our YouTube channel under the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. This has been your Humanities Half Hour. I'm Catherine Perry. This program was supported by a We the People grant awarded to the Northern Marianas Humanities Council from the National Endowment for the Humanities. Any views, findings, conclusions, or recommendations expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily represent those of the National Endowment for the Humanities or the Northern Marianas Humanities Council. Mm -hmm.